Hello friends, thank you for tuning in and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be demonstrating the complete step-by-step -step procedures involved in the estimation of total dissolved solids in any water samples. And before we start, for your convenient and information, the content of this video revolves around the following stages. First, we will briefly give an introduction about the total dissolved solids and next we'll see what are the different apparatus required in the laboratory for estimation of total dissolved solids and next we will see the formula used for calculation of total dissolved solids then next we'll move on to the step-by-step -step procedures of estimation of total dissolved solids in the laboratory and last but not least we will then see the procedure for calculating TDS in any samples using Microsoft Excel. So to begin with, total dissolved solids or TDS in short, represents the total concentrations of the dissolved solids in water samples. Or in other words, it is an aggregate of the sum of all dissolved cations and anions in the water samples. And water with TDS content up to 500 mg per liter as per the Bureau of Indian Standards or 1000 mg per liter according to the World Health Organization standards is considered desirable for drinking. Beyond that, the water will be unfit for drinking purposes. High content of total dissolved solids in any water samples elevates the density of these particular water samples, reduce its solubility, imbibe bitter and salty taste to the water and many more. Therefore, it is important to know what is the total dissolved solids concentration in the water samples. Next, let's move on to the next part that is we will see what are different apparatus required for estimation of total dissolved solids in the laboratory. First of all, the glasswares required are you need a 100 ml beaker, 100 ml measuring cylinder, 250 ml conical flask, Wattman filter paper number 42, glass funnel, a desiccator, a weighing balance and a hot air oven. Next, the formula for calculation of total dissolved solids in water samples it is expressed in milligrams per liter and the formula is TDS is equal to W2 minus W1 divided by volume of samples into 1000 into 1000 where W1 refers to the initial weight of the beakers and W2 is the final weight of the beaker and V stands for the volume of the samples taken. Next, let's move on to the next stage that is we will see the procedures for estimation of total dissolved solids. First of all, you have to dry the 100 ml beaker in oven and after drying them for almost 24 hours, Take out the oven dried 100 ml beaker. Let it cool down. And after which, you can provide coat to the beakers, such as replicate 1, 2, and 3, to avoid confusion later on, in case you have many samples to analyze. And then, you measure and record the initial weight of this beaker. You will be needing this later in the calculation stage. And then, the next step, using the Wattman filter paper number 42 and a funnel, filter the water samples that you want to determine the total dissolved solid content. And to avoid wastage of filter paper, 
I recommend you to filter the samples in one go till you obtain about 300 plus ml of samples. And for your information, this stage will take time, so be patient. In case if you have lots of samples, it will take more time, so be patient. Then you move on to the next stage. So we're using a measuring cylinder. Measure 100 ml of the filter water samples and pour it into this pre-weight beakers. And after that, place these beakers with samples in it in an oven at 105 degrees Celsius till the water samples evaporate. Then wait for 24 hours. Then remove this beaker from the oven and keep it inside a desiccator for some time. Then take out the beakers from the desiccator. And if you check, you'll see that this beaker contains only the solid residues. And the amount of residues in it depends on the content of dissolved solids present in the water. Then using a weighing balance, again, measure and record the final weight of the dried beaker. And in the same manner, if you have multiple samples for analysis. And after that, then the estimation part is completed. Then you move on to the next stage, that is the calculation of the total dissolved solids using Microsoft Excel. Open the Microsoft Excel sheet and let's do the calculation for total dissolved solids. As mentioned earlier, TDS is equal to W2 minus W1, volume of the samples, into 1000 into 1000. For easy calculation, this is the table for calculating TDS. And let's say these are the measured initial weight of the beaker R1, R2 and R3. And then these are the measured or obtained final weight of the beaker after the water samples has been evaporated. And the volume of the samples taken is 100 ml. So with this, we have now W1, which is the initial weight of the beaker, W2, the final weight of the beaker, and V is the volume of the water samples taken. So first, let's calculate for the numerator part of the formula, W2 minus W1. So W2 minus W1 is W2 minus W1. Equal, enters, and then double click here, you'll get the Z value for the numerator. Now let's divide the numerator by the denominator. So let be that be y. So equals to z divided by 100. Enter. Double click. So this will be your y value. And now we'll find out the TDS value. So we have obtained the w2 minus w1 divided by volume of the samples. And now we just have to multiply this by 1000 into 1000. Equals to y into 1000 into 1000 so 140 double click you'll get these values here so that will be r1 would be 140 mg per liter r2 is 130 mg per liter r3 is 160 mg per liter so with this we will now find out the average so click average enter so the mean concentration of the total dissolved solids in the sample we analyze is 143.33 mg per liter. So this is how we determine the total dissolved solids of any water samples. And for your information, this video is based on the procedures prescribed in the standard prescribed book for water analysis. And the reference are MITI and Alpha.
So with that, we now have come to an end of this video. I believe that this video will significantly benefit students to understand how to estimate DDS in any water samples and how to calculate the final DDS value of any water samples. So with that, if you find this video helpful and beneficial to your studies and research, please kindly like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel and your support of any kind will be greatly appreciated. And once again, thank you so much for watching and God blessed.